Hey guys, this is Void of Dust Gaming, and today I've got something special for you, a character I barely play, just because I'm so bad with him, but this game went surprisingly well, and therefore I just wanted to share it with you. We're talking about none other than the Joker. He is supposed to be some kind of AD carry, but many players that played him before rather put him in the mage section that is because he has basically one trick he is nuking people with his rocket and then he's just jumping around um, putting gas bombs on people's coats or trousers or pants or skirts or whatever he puts them on and then he just jumps away inflicting a ton of damage and that's basically his playstyle so he's kind of a one trick pony but he's a lot of fun unfortunately i can't pull it off that often but in this case, I found it valuable enough to put it on YouTube. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you dare. And any comments are always welcome as the comment section below this video is entirely yours. So let's get started. You guys know the drill. At first, we are going to flip through my armory section. That means we are going to take a look at the items, the arcana and the enchantments. So as you can see, basically, this is a lot or does look a lot like any other AD carry build. We've got some of the best items for attack damage in here. We've got the ring breaker and, and the Omni Arms and of course the Fenrirs. We've taken Mura Master here to counter some of the tanks as the description of the item already says. And we've got the Hermes selected in here because we want to roam and be quite fast. Joker is a little bit on the faster side and he has some combos going on there. Um, but I'm going to talk about that in the upcoming video. Arcana wise, I'm going with full attack damage and armor pierce. As you can see, I'm taking only level 3 Arcana. That's something that I would recommend to get as soon as possible if you're one of the newer players. Therefore, I can show you that I'm going with 10 times onslaught, normal attack, and armor pierce is improved. Then we've got assassinate, that's the attack damage and the movement speed. We're rather not using a lot of auto attacks. Um, we have some kind of effect that I'm going to talk about in the video as well, so there's a reason to watch the video, and uh, that's going to work for you. And then on the last arcana, I am using the skewer, which basically is the addition on the armor pierce section. As you can see, it goes up by 64. That is the arcana stuff, and enchantment wise, we are focusing on basically the enchantment that works works best with all the ad carries out there at the moment like most of them if you're not taking forest wanderer which would be the green one slowing down enemies might be actually quite interesting on the joker as well um, but you already have a slow effect on your rocket and that is here the league of humans we're going with the endless cycle and we're going with enhanced restore that is this enchantment We've got the Gunslinger that is going to stack up nicely with the other improvements on top of our abilities. And then in the second section, which is the Veda um, line, we're going with Axe of Sacrifice and I'm going with Holy Verdict here for some additional armor pierce. So it's all about armor pierce and basically the first impact that you get because we're going to harass the enemies a lot with our rockets. And then afterwards we're going to jump into their faces place some bombs and then we're going out, retreat and get back to safety. That's the idea at least. So let's take a look how I performed this. So guys, as you can see, I'm going with a flicker talent in this match, into this match. And we are going straight up on the top lane. Uh, I've got backup from Arduin, who is the support here. Um, we've got some Grog going on. That's something that Grogs tend to do. They try to steal the buffs. So what you guys are going to do is you want to kill them. You want to punish them for their stupid behavior. Unfortunately, I was not aiming in the right direction. Therefore, I could not make a good play here. But we are on to the Talonus. And I do get... Uh, no shot onto her. First block for Arduin. There we go. And I do get Grok here, which gives me the first kill in the 
game. Um, and that was a good start. Like, actually, that was a pretty good start. Pretty decent. We killed our lane opponents, or our laning opponents, and made a good impression here. Arduin uses his heal, so we are both basically almost back to full health. Good thing is, if she harasses Arduin with her attacks, I can easily uh, apply some of my poke damage. That's especially helpful because Arduin has this really nice knock-up effect on his first ability. And uh, yeah. Need to be a little bit careful here, but as you can see, I have placed my shot in the correct, correct direction using my flicker talent here to avoid being stabbed or shot or harassed or whatever. And now we are onto some Enzo who tries to kill us, but unfortunately, or fortunate for us, I was using my second ability. That's basically an ability with which you can kind of delete incoming damage. It's really nice, it's a really good ability, you get a speed buff and on the other hand you will delete the incoming damage or make it make it kind of, you kind of uh, negate it. That's kind of the, the idea about this. So, pretty neat. Um, I'm going with the first damage item first before I hit the boots. It's your decision if you want to copy that or if you want to start with boots first. Of course, boots give give you a higher mobility, but in my impression, especially in the beginning of the game, you need to have some more poke damage um, to get the enemies back into their tracks, and then you can jump on them and make it work. So this was kind of the combo that you want to apply. So you've got the first ability, which is the rocket, and then afterwards, after you applied the slow effect to the enemy via the rocket, you want to jump in and use your gas bomb, whatever it is. I don't know the name of the, I don't know the name of the skill, but it's some kind of gas bomb. And you will have some kind of boomerang effect, so you're jumping towards the enemy, and then you will jump back to the point of origin where you activated the ability. So that's all the magic that is behind Joker's abilities. And you will just use your rockets quite continuously. And that's one of the main reasons why people put him rather in the mage area than the AD carry area, because the main source of damage is coming from your abilities. You will stack up your enhanced bullets. So after a short duration of time, there will be this kind of uh, icon up here. You can see it. Uh, da, 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 da. When is it coming back? It's not going to harass the Telenas a little bit and Enzo just doesn't have a chance or doesn't stand a chance against our Zephyrs because he, he's just too fat. Remember he got the triple kill before and now he is going to double kill people I think. That is five kills on, on him or something like that. I've got two kills as well so I've got more gold then tell us in this instance and as you can see I'm just really good on farming with Joker. Joker is really good uh, in terms of wave control because he can hit every single enemy with his attack. Now you can see that my knife has turned into some sort of uh, some sort of pistol and that is the idea behind this with this kind of enhanced bullet. They just uh, brought this back to Arena of Valor after quite some time and here comes an unfortunate death for me and I hit the Endless Cycle immediately. So you will have a special shot where you deal more damage on the one hand and on the other hand you slow enemies. That's the idea behind the bullet. So you can use, you can use that bullet as some, some kind of alpha strike as your first attack before you hit the combo. Or you can put it in between, that is your decision, and as I said, it works quite nicely. There we go, got Rank Breaker now, Grok doesn't, doesn't want to play anymore, he is already recalling with full health, and of course, we still need to be careful on that, like you can't be, um, you can't take it lightly, of course, it's still Grok, he still has this massive hook, which is just one of the best engagement items or best engagement tools throughout the game. 
So don't take it lighthearted. Uh, always be on the spot that Grog might just be able to drag you in and kill you. There's just one Grog hook between you and death, and that is for sure. So I'm kind of defending the uh, the lane here, and as the point of action is turning towards the middle and the bottom lane, I decide to use my Hermes selected and roam a little bit more, but I want the first tower to fall. Of course, you guys are free to roam more than I do. Of course, that's something where the Hermes selected are actually really useful because you get the speed buff after you exited some fight and um, I will do that potentially later on. I haven't watched the video after I played the game and recorded it so I don't really know what I'm going to do. So this is kind of a guess. I should roll more now. Roll more. Uh, Void of Dusk from the past. Voido, do it. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, we do get another nice assist. Unfortunately, we do not get the kill. So, uh, beautifully sane. Yeah, he isn't. Um, that is for sure if you watch some of the videos. But I think it's pretty cool to have the Joker in this game. And he is more playable than Batman and any of the other. Like, Superman still has his options. Um, Flash can be good in the right choices or in the right patterns. But I guess Joker, you can't really do anything that wrong with Joker because he's got this one trick and he can execute that quite well. So, uh, game, game went on quite well so far, went on quite well so far. We've got a lot of kills, 14 kills and just one kill on the enemy side. And that was, oh no, go, oh no, 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 no. that was I. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I didn't pay attention to that. So I was the person who basically failed the zero death account stuff here. Uh, we do get another assist, so I'm king of the assists right now. Not really, I guess I don't have more assists than I do. You need to be a little bit careful here because he was just dazed us all the time. But we have destroyed the tower he was about to protect. And now I can take some of their jungle, get some health back here, and get the Omni Arm. So now I do have the item which gives basically everything by just a little tiny bit. Um, there we go. Unfortunately I'm not able to kill Ignis here. Oh my goodness, that would need to be super careful. And that was like, that's my 200,000 IQ play. I just wanted to see Talonas dead, and that worked. Enemy double kill. Hence, she does get a double kill here. <laughs> the Isha, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted to humiliate Talonas even more. So my team is fighting in the jungle. I don't see a reason why I should support them because there's Kilgroth, there's Arwen and there's a overfed Zephyr. So I don't really have a plan in there. And now I let myself get caught. As I said, there's just one hook between death and you and that's Grog's hook. And again I get hooked. So after a really good start now I let my guard down and I was hooked twice but it doesn't matter because now Grok is killed Arduin is making an approach and now Zephyrus comes in and he is going to just defeat the entire enemy team uh, or not maybe not he could have defeated the entire enemy team but he didn't he just has spared their lives, which is actually quite nice of him, I guess, I suppose. And now we have to take another attempt in order to get to the Nexus and kill all these pesky little fellows that are trying to protect the Nexus against us. And we are on our way up there. 
Oh my goodness, Helenas, you are such a fool. And we do get a double kill. Yes, I know it was lucky, but sometimes you need luck in order to survive. And we do get six kills, three deaths, nine assists, which is actually, I think, the best rating I have ever been scoring on Joker. So never mind. There we go. There is an Enzo, and while Enzo is rather super good or super, super bad, and this seems to be a not so good Enzo, of course, I do not want him in my face. I do not want him want to fight him one on one, and therefore I've waited just a little bit in order to get some backup from Zephyrs. And as you can see, Zephyrs is already on level 15. I let myself get caught here again. I don't know what's going on with me. It happens from time to time, making my result even worse than it was before. So one hook, two hooks, that could have been a 6-2. But sometimes it's hard to play Joker that seriously just because he is a pretty reckless character. And sometimes I do use the personality of one of those characters I play in order to get the best out of it. Oh my god, no, she nearly killed Isha here. And will Zephyrs take on the enemy team by himself, one by one, double kill? Yes, he will. Enzo's dead, triple kill. It's such a strong character. Zephyrs always has been, and I guess he always will. Super strong character and really fun to play. Great mobility, great damage, great armor that becomes even better throughout the game. The more health you are losing, the more armor you get. What is this character all about? Here we go. Next turret has been destroyed. So the turret rating is actually quite nice. We're going to fire some rockets into the enemy's faces again. And now we are about to wreck the third and last inner core uh, towers. Oh look, another Slayer. I do farm some gold here. It's always important to get some gold, especially if you are a well-known comic book villain. It's super important to fuel. I, I didn't even had to use one of my abilities now we've got the dark slayer power now we're super dark slayer people things and now i've got fenrir's tooth so my damage is now skyrocketing high there we go just another nice rocket and the good thing is if they are packed and clumped like that i don't even know what's going on i like the worst player right now why did i even upload this video what a shame. I thought that the result was actually quite good. And now it's still one of the best results I've ever had on a Joker match. And now we won the game. Well, whatever. Never mind. It, I hope it was entertaining for you guys. And that's the only purpose I have in mind by uploading videos here on a daily basis at the moment on YouTube. And I hope you kind of enjoyed what you have seen. So let's take a look on the results here. That's the last thing that we're about to do before I... Stop the video and you guys can enjoy your evening. Oh, that was the old codex. Yep, we know Zephyrs was by far the MVP. Really nice teamwork here. I'm on a 7-3, so not the worst, but of course not the best. You know the build and 25% is incredible. 14% damage taken, 55, 6, whatever. Bye-bye.